Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and we're going to start taking a look at some of the final figures from Series 2 of the G.I. Joe Creo Blind Bag line. And starting us off is, of course, what I would consider one of the most iconic um, characters from the Sunbow uh, G.I. Joe cartoon, and quite possibly... Um, iconic characters of 80s cartoons at all, and that is Dr. Mindbender. Um, now, say what you will about his design, a lot of people questioning a, you know, scientific doctor wearing, you know, leather metal straps, no shirt, and tight purple pants, but it left an impression, and, you know, a lot of times with cartoons, that's what you want to do. There is actually a lot of building involved with uh, Dr. Mindbender. First, right here, you can see it's uh, the Creo representation of his uh, magic wand of painless dentistry. I think it was a mind control device or something. Uh, it's uh, basically you plug in what looks like to be like a vehicle wrench, and there's actually some soft goods rope right there, which uh, was kind of difficult to tie on. And, and it's all attached to this battery pack. I think maybe you might have to separate. You can separate the two and have the battery pack like laying on the ground. I'm not sure about that. The instructions show it connected, so that's how I left it. The next bit um, that I really like is you have actually a uh, some, some science equipment. You actually have a little beaker here, which as I knock the figure over, and this nice little syringe. Now, the beaker has at the bottom a um, you know a single stud hole that you can peg it onto stuff but the syringe what's really cool is that there's a hole here in top of the big beaker and you can just slide it in like that so you, you know and of course Dr. Mindbender can hold it so you can you know have some little role uh, fantasy play with uh, him drawing stuff out I almost want to say due to like the Energon purple color that might come from a transformer set, but I'm not sure. The final bit is actually this really nice cape, which here you know, I'm trying to straighten it out here a bit. Um, it's real fabric, which you know it's incredible that you know after all these years we got real fabric goods in the Creo line, and um, has that nice Cobra logo. It's a shame that for right now we don't really know what's going on with Creo. Because I think it would be kind of cool to get a single-packed uh, Cobra Commander with the hood, which, as far as I know, we never got. We got the helmet, we never, but in a set, we never got a, a uh, hooded Cobra Commander that comes with maybe this cape in either red or blue. Um, very nice way to fold it on. The whole, the head holds it in place. Speaking of the head, as you can see, it's a very nice. Uh, lightness to the original uh, character, and that's really the thing with Creo, is that they're able to go in and just using paint really bring out the details, the core details of all these characters. Well, um, like I said, this was from C Series Two. You might be able to still find some on the shelves. You might not. I've been hearing things about older series being re-released with the codes removed. So, who knows? Um, if you find this figure for $5 or less on the aftermarket, eBay, Amazon, what have you, definitely worth a pickup, especially to place into your larger Terror set. I think it's a very important character since that's where many of his uh, magical moments happen. This is your old pal Chuck for Dr. Mindbender. We'll see you next time.